Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to discuss about uh, SAP controlling product costing class 10 and uh, today concept is what is material ledger. If you are completely new to this channel and uh, watching my videos first time, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon. So here the concept is what is material ledger. This is one of the important concept for interview as well as real time. So far we have discussed about what is product costing objectives of the product costing, preparing for costing, and the product costing integration, material cost estimate with quantity structure, and also explain the product cost planning, where costing variant, BOM, role of SAP, BOM in SAP PP module, and usage of BOM in MRP, and also explain what is the difference between moving average price and the standard price, and uh, we explained about routing concept. So this is a very important area uh, we need to learn in order to understand product costing. So in order to understand the product costing here, some of the steps uh, also mentioned. So one is cost center planning. So um, see, product costing is uh, integrated with other modules like uh, MM module and also you can also learn PP module. Okay, so cost center planning and activity rates calculation quantity structure, costing run, these are all topics we covered in the last videos. And you can also look out uh, some videos are available in the chart box. So we are updating uh, uh, in the comment box uh, on the entire previous videos. You can also look out that. And uh, the topics like uh, cost center planning and activity rates calculation, uh, we already finished up. And uh, also we finished up quantity structure and costing run okay and today topic is material ledger what exactly meant by material ledger and actual costing um, i will tell you today um, you guys know very well about uh, how many types of uh, uh, prices we have in uh, uh, for material valuation so generally material valuation will be happened at uh, at plant or company cold so and there are two prices there are two prices we need to main we need to maintain okay in material master for material valuation or to calculate closing stock of the of the inventory so one price is a moving average price and the second price would be standard price. So this moving average price for raw materials, for raw materials uh, generally we will maintain moving average price and uh, semi-finished and for finished products so we will maintain standard price so moving average price uh, uh, will denote as V in SAP and it is S so now the question is how many currencies how many currencies we can give the report on material valuation so this is the question in SAP S4 HANA, we can validate the material on different currencies and we can validate the material on different currencies also. Why the different currencies comes into picture? It depends upon the country, we need to give the reports on different currencies. Let's say for example, the country's inflation rates are very high and it's fluctuating um, day by day. So that case, that case, we need to maintain uh, we need to we need to we need to calculate the material prices on the actual cost if fluctuation rates are high and inflation rate is high so then that case we need to maintain in different currencies because uh, the country currency we need to maintain and fluctuation point of we need to maintain another currency also okay so that is the reason so here in order to uh, in order to calculate inventory valuation uh, so inventory valuation is very important step 
um, you know so once inventory calculation is done then closing stock of the uh, total inventories uh, balance should be uh, put into the balance sheet right so the standard price always uh, maintained it uh, um, so st standard price always maintained for semi finished and finished products and uh, indicator is s for moving average price uh, then only we can maintain v if uh, there is a uh, stability is there now for the country uh, raw material cost stability is there and prices are not much uh, uh, fluctuating so that case we need to maintain s uh, for uh, standard price um, in the semi finished and finished goods and uh, also for raw material we need to maintain v okay so uh, we can give the reporting in only one currency and uh, uh, different currencies are not required different valuations are not required but uh, if there is no stability and uh, the currency is uh, very high and inflation rates are very high so then that case we need to value the uh, inventory um, in uh, different currencies so and uh, you can see for uh, uh, generally uh, for valuation of these things uh, we can maintain usd only okay so here you can look at this in countries with the stable inflation rate it is considered fine to have inventory valued at the standard standard cost so stable inflation rate is there then we need to maintain standard cost if there is no stable then we need to calculate the inventory on actual costing in such countries material in inventory valued values are normally carried out by sap system in one currency if stable inflation rate is there then one currency is required and uh, goods are valued at standard price for raw material we need to maintain moving average price and uh, semi finished and finished products we need to maintain standard price in such countries um, where inflation is not stable and uh, uh, high inflation rates are very high so that case we need to validate the inventory at actual costing okay so in such countries it might also be required to record inventory valuation is more than one currency so those currencies are uh, uh, rates are very high and inflation is uh, uh, inflation rates also very high that case so we need to maintain uh, we need to give the report in different uh, currencies also in such countries it might be required to record inventory valuation in more than one currency so usually local currency is the company code currency and another more stable report, uh, reporting like usd indicate inflation uh, inflationary impact on the inventory valuations okay so sap supports this requirement showing inventory valuation in multiple currencies at actual costing using the functionality of material ledger and actual costing so this material ledger actual costing should be comes into picture so if you want to validate the inventory uh, in multiple currencies okay so that case actual costing um, is one of the functionality and uh, material ledger is the tool so this two can be used for uh, in order to calculate the material uh, price at uh, actual cost so material ledger or actual costing is also sub ledgers we have sub ledgers like in ap we have sub ledger and er we have sub ledger fixed assets also have sub ledgers this is mat material ledger also one of the sub ledger okay so material ledger is also one of the sub ledger whatever the transaction you posted to material it should be um, so it would be saved through sub ledger only okay so material ledger as a tool fulfill the two basic objects one is uh, um, the two abil ability to manage material prices at multiple currencies and multiple valuations and actual costing okay so these are the uh, two important objects uh, that we can uh, that we can get by using this material ledger or actual costing so material ledger is a tool that collects transactional data for materials whose master data is stored in the material master whatever the transactions uh, posted with the material so that should be uh, stored in the material ledger okay the material ledger use the data to calculate the prices and validate this material material ledger is just like apr fixed asset what are the ledgers we have like that it is also one of the sub ledger okay so by using this sub ledger so we can calculate prices to validate this materials material ledger is basis of actual costing and it enables material inventories to be validated at multiple currencies and allows the use of different valuation approaches and thank you very much uh, for watching this video this is chani sk so if you are completely new to this channel please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching this video